up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman. DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now and in those fights why he's one of the best fighters in the world's weight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hoof, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attacks on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling stage. Left hand. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Ground and pound strike is true. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Usman. Good, solid strike on the ground. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. One set for the end of round one. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if we can maintain this over 50 minutes. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one of the. All right, so the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes. Level change now. He went single into a high class. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, basketball. right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Just over three minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Usman. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. I mean, how many can he take? I mean, how many can he take? Let's go. 
bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Relentless pressure from the top by Kamaru Usman. Twenty seconds left. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top support? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Now Usman really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You gotta hit the escape. You gotta do something to get out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Goes out of control the hit. He doesn't give you any out when he's on top of you. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Just over two minutes to go. up now and now the damage is about to start back mount now so make it 179 total strikes have landed for Kamaru who's pretty efficient too 71 percent the connection rate thus far against nice the injury is going to finish the record well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up well he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in big knockdown for him in the previous round DC talk us through the highlight he got in his opponent's face 
landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Big punch lands. This fight be Another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the last. Oh, he got real good, too. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Look at the hip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Usman's got the tie clinch now. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high box. Oh. Down. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye starting to shut. And under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Usman. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Able to land the single ground strike there. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people are... Wow! Oh, Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. So a big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds at round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Bruce well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.